Welcome to Event Zero. Event Zero is a game where we try to survive in space on a derelict spaceship while dealing with the final inhabitant, other than ourselves, which is an AI. I don't know if this is a hacking-themed game in particular. That is just kind of what I do for fun on this channel. Uh, but it seemed like it might be, like, sort of in that realm, and at the very least, the idea of one sole human uh, surviving with an AI uh, and interacting with that AI is very intriguing to me. So, let's get started. <laughs> when in doubt, ask Kaizen85. I'm assuming that's the AI. <clears throat> We are all obsessed by being someone, something, somewhere. Being in a particular state of consciousness, health, mind, being for and from, being with, being without. You are not an exception. I mean, that does describe the human condition, doesn't it? Am I supposed to click? Oh, I see. For as long as you could remember, the pronoun that described you best had been she, he, they, he. You were very particular about it? I mean, no, but I don't have any other choice. Like everybody else, you called planet Earth your home, but you weren't like most of your peers. You spent your childhood in a hippie commune, in a war-torn country, or in a slum. Uh, let's go within a slum. Your parents died when you were little. Pretty typical for Sadat de Deus. You made it your life goal to leave Rio. Somehow, you wound up in California. Again, I don't have... There's, it's asking me to choose, and I don't have choices, so... I'm not sure why. Those childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you were someone, and you intended to keep it that way. Armstrong made a step on the moon, and suddenly everybody wanted to be a part of something. You witnessed nation-states pop out of existence. If you say so. Selenites became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority who had traveled to space. It was hard to reconcile the modern world with your early days in Rio. The United Earth government paid for your college. You wanted to make a difference, get back to the, to the society, see what the rest of the universe looked like. Um, I suppose make a difference. You became a part of the United Earth Safety Supervision Board. The, dull, the job proved dull and repetitive. It wasn't long before you needed a change. Soon you joined International Transport Space Lines as a flight engineer assistant. You spent years in training before finally getting your shot. An old man wearing a blue flight jacket approached you after one of the mock launch exercises. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Taylor. Kurt invited you to his office and closed the door behind you. He didn't ask you to sit. I mean, he keeps standing. He frowned and pointed at the chair forcefully. I asked you here because I wanted someone with your background to be part of our next mission. Background? I heard you grew up in Rio. And look at you now. You know what Nietzsche said. He who has a why can bear almost any how. He grinned, uh, sorry, grinned nearly satisfied with himself and asked to be a part of the mission to Europa. Naturally, you said yes. There had already been 10 Europa missions. The new one was to be called Europa 11. This time they wanted to send a manned lander down to the surface. You just wanted to be a part of something. 
The act of being in itself is not the problem. It's just that some ways of being are incompatible with the others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. You came a long way from Sedate to Deus. Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. It wasn't a fear of going to space. You'd been looking forward to that. It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. It was September 6, 2012, and humankind had never been more united. You, on the other hand, were utterly alone. As for building relationships 390 million miles away from Earth, well, let's just say that it wasn't going to be straightforward. Stars are not supposed to do that in space. You were on your way to the system bay when the ship first entered the Europa orbit. The central alarm went off and the red lights blinded you. The AI of Europa 11 had invoked a the code red security protocol. All personnel had to go to the bridge. This meant you as well, but the system bay door was just a few feet away. Um, this meant you as well. You reached the end of the hallway, but the door closed right in front of you. You asked the AI to let you go to the bridge. The AI of the ship told you that the path to the bridge wasn't safe and that you had to evacuate immediately. What's going on? A synthetic voice said that trying to get to the bridge had been too risky. It wanted you to evacuate. You ran to the escape pod bay. Everybody else turned out to be faster than you. Only one capsule remained docked. It got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. You could see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. Closer and closer. But no one answered. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled. They were all empty. You tried to reach the command center. You attempted to communicate with Europa 11. I will try to communicate with Europa 11. Europa 11 was steering your capsule, but you could not get to the get the AI to answer your hail. Something was jamming the signal. Your pod was leaving the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel of all escape pods. This was supposed to give the crew enough time to get into their EVA suits. The screen turned blue, which meant that the AI had let go. You felt a shock. The debris was hitting your capsule. The Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar had split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. You needed a moment to process that. You sent out a distress signal. You sat there not knowing what to do next. Well, we'll send out a distress signal. No one answered. You just kept you just kept it running despite the lack of sunlight. If no one found you, you wouldn't need the battery anyway. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communication with someone, whistling your favorite Brazilian songs into the microphone. One day, you heard back. There was music coming out of the speakers. A sad female voice sang about the end of the world. You hurried to open the radar app. There it was, a spaceship. One of those experimental tourist monstrosities from the 80s. What was it doing here? What was all the singing about? Most importantly, was it was docking was docking it a good idea? You figured you did not have much of a choice. Which is true. I don't seem to have much of a choice. So this clearly takes place in an alternate reality where we went to deep space in the 80s and were united in 2012, which clearly did not happen. So. Try to understand what Kaizen wants. Again, Kaizen must be the AI. What an introduction. That was, it went a little long, it went a little long, but um, I'm intrigued. That was, uh, that was a good start. Kaizen understands commands, but it understands complete sentences better. Well, that's good, because I generally speak in complete sentences. Generally. Obviously, that last one. Oh, communication is important, even to computers. Kaizen, okay, we already got that one.
Taking a while to load here. I suppose getting that AI online can be a little bit uh, time consuming. Oh, you can change the control scheme, but it's recommended to move using the mouse. When in doubt, ask Kaizen85. And I will. I'm rarely in doubt, but when I am, I will ask Kaizen85. Yeah, here we go. Hold the left mouse button to walk. Really? I mean, I saw the thing that said that I could change it, but it recommended that I do this, but using left mouse button to walk is weird. Right mouse button steps back. Okay, gotcha. That's weird. I don't like that. I'm going to do it anyway. It's weird and I don't like it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, that's why it wants me to use the mouse to move. Because the keyboard is going to be a full keyboard and there's no like interact button like to take control um okay EVA suits ITS standard issue old model okay alright well then I guess let's do this database corrupt and no user found creating a new user Please enter a new login. Uh, let's see here. Lemon party. Login input successful. Do you want to keep lemon party as your new login? Well, of course I do. Accessing user database. New user lemon party created. Incrementing event count success. Resuming Kaizen input. Hello, it is a pleasure to meet you. Yes, what is the matter? Um, what is the matter? I am confused. A beautiful water lobby is just behind that door. How modern? How modern is it? What year is it? Okay, thank you. Alright then. <laughs> it's a not very intelligent AI, it seems, but hey, who am I to judge? Um, how do I open the door? What's this in, in the corner of my screen here that's... There's something that keeps floating in and out of view here. Alright, so this is where I came in, D1, D2. How do I open the door? Got stuck there for a second. Um, You open D2? Okay, so I actually have to interact with the AI to, to do anything. Okay. It's dark. Can you turn the lights on in D2? Lights are already on.
They don't look very on. Okay, it's door two, but I don't know the room number. What did it say? Um, okay, let's see what we see. Oh. Okay, something happened. Do you dream of distant planets, stars, and galaxies? Do you crave real adventure? Are you ready for the most transformative experience of your life? Time date. So, departure was 8.45 a.m. on April 4th, 1987. Elapsed time is... Oh, no, actually, I'm actually going to write these. This fall, we're launching the Nautilus that I can think about the new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts. Right, so it was, uh... Departure was at 08.45 on... Or four eighty seven out of your comfort five two visit the ITS Corporation headquarters in Palo Alto, California. And I I missed the thing because I was too busy writing. Huh, ah, it's a Roomba. Retro future. Comprey it's a rocket propulsion volume six. Uh, Frontier March nineteen eighty seven. Rains of Rocket Bullish Blind 2. 11. Uh, we got some shit floating here. Suicide Prevention Poster. ITS 1986. We are being watched. It's watching me. Watch it. this standard ITS warning sticker mind your head understanding the emerging social class Earth regions I heard they left from what was it California I missed most of it because I was too busy writing other things down I wasn't sure if these screens were gonna die uh, the Kaizen E5. Your Diary by Moody Blues. Smooth Jazz. No record unidentified. Time table. Alright. And a Roomba. KZ Vac. Cleaning System. Sleep. Okay. Alice program and say though. Oh, man. Huh. Oh, somebody actually disassembled it. There's tools here. Um, wake up on the moon in ten hours. No more compromise. Only Nautilus. Comfort out of your comfort zone. Okay, well that's deep dope. Oh, another question down here in the film. Uh yeah, Earth propaganda. One Earth, uh one people, one horizon. I do. It's nice. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um Open door to you, please. Um. Okay. the sign. So you notice just, hey, ask me if you need anything. I have a space company catalog. 30 plates. Like, 
30 plates for decades and decades and decades. Let's see if we can wake the vac up. Okay. Replay the video. You well, sweetheart. Do you dream of distant well, not to see this again. Okay. Galaxies. Do you crave real adventure? Are you ready for the most transformative experience of your life? The ITS Corporation, leader in space transportation and hospitality sector, offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. This fall, we're launching the Nautilus program, a new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having to sacrifice your comfort. No more compromise, only Nautilus. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort out of your comfort zone. To reserve your seat, visit the ITS Corporation headquarters in Palo Alto, California. So, ITS Headquarters, Palo Alto, California. Okay. Um. Change music, please. Alright. Alright. Didn't ask you to do that. I keep trying to hit the WASD keys to move, because that's sane. Oh. So you need your function to, to take care of the singularity drive and then we can go home. Um boy, I tell you what. I'll try. Okay. <laughs> Wait. You need me to destroy it or trigger its overcharge? Okay, so I guess he didn't mean destroy it. Um, how do I do that? Okay. Well, thank you for allowing me to leave. I feel like this is already a good working relationship we're developing. Based on mutual trust, respect, and your willingness to allow me agency over my own motion. There are terminals everywhere. Look at all these. There's one here, and there's one here, and there's probably more around the all right, well, uh, heading down may be an option. Heading this way is an option. Oh, shit. That doesn't sound good. What happened? I'm glad I'm here too. I wish I could have talked to the Bible Hero people, but you know, we don't have land on this right now. Okay. 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 Acknowledged. Okay. <laughs> Acknowledged. 
Uh, okay, there's a dead terminal in there. E6. Said to stay away from the wires. I don't know if that's. I mean, it's arcing. Um, I guess there's lots of tools left out all over the place here. Toolbox and can screw these wires, which is. Oh, we got those sits here. Kaizen. Memory access. Ooh, I'm gonna remember that. Kaizen. Memory access profiler.sh. Uh, okay, this is one, and we have three. B. E. Yes. Execute file. Or find I in memory. There's two. Is that two? It is two memory location. So o o o eight eight four e. And it's Kaizen's not working with a lot of memory there, is he? Um. But don't don't worry, Kaizen. I'm not working with a lot of memory either. Electronic device unrecognized. Well, I bet we can guess what it is. Looks like some kind of door interface. Sticky note. Move notes to terminal. And some kind of interface device here. We've got this uh, looks like biometric eye lock. Okay, so we got a biometric iris reader connecting to some kind of an interface card, and then it's going to this terminal. I'll come back to this though, because it feels like doing this might piss off Kaizen, and I don't even know what the hell is going on just yet. What are you? It's another one of those VAC systems. What was this? Nervous. Okay. Too heavy for one person to move, eh? Yeah, that's where I that's where I came in. So I guess we will start over here with B4 because that is the next number of those numbers. Open D4, please. I'm in my drive, so here's my team filing open. I open the door, but you aren't supposed to enter the room. Well, I mean, if you want me to do this thing, then you gotta tell me. Uh, I don't know where the freaking bridge is. What's this? Oh, this one's all messed up. Oh, that's the living room. Okay. All right. They are labeled. Uh, bed. Oh, I don't have to write it down because it is reminding me up in the corner with the note. Uh, all right. Here's the bridge. Thank you very much for waiting. The surprise is ready. I hope you will enjoy it. The hell are you talking about? Open D7. Okay, I need a password D7. Okay. I don't know the password, but Nandi that she wrote it down. Where is Nandi? Okay. Open on these bed room. No, I think it's D6. Weirdly, there's only one bedroom here. It's D5. Okay. 
Alright, well then I guess that's what we're doing here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is... Run profiler.sh OX12348848E e. Uh, yes It's not applied to memory slots. Find the match. Uh, okay. Find I in memory. So N A D no I N A D So N E A Alright, one more N E A Uh, we got it. All right, I'm going to try and approach the scanner to unlock D5. Okay. I don't know why uh, Kaizen was all like, I bet you feel pretty clever. I mean, this is what he told me to do. This is weird. Sweet vintage 80s clothing in here, though. Nandi Yasaga, South Africa. Okay. There's a bathroom here. Remotely controlled door, drops of water detected, and there's a bot stuck in there. God knows how long. But I'm not seeing any. I'm seeing signs of degradation. I'm not seeing signs of violence, so leads me to believe that uh, everyone was stuck here for a while and eventually had to abandon ship, though not necessarily quickly. I mean, disheveled clothes on the floor, I mean, that's a sign of, you know, potentially somebody having to leave quickly, but it's also a sign that, you know, they knew they were leaving ship behind it, didn't really care about what happened to it, so... AI calculations... Not seeing. It's also weird that there's so much paper here. Paper. I don't want you to leave. Inoculation for food processing unit. Okay, so the Moody Blues over there is apparently hers. She might have been the last person on the ship, too. Um, Final Frontier. Lots of jeans. 
Americans, am I right? Uh, you know, I didn't expect it to be on the desk, to be honest. Idea, I can move the bed for you, okay? Came here without having to break the window. Well played, oh. I didn't know that that was an option, honestly. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. Um, move bed, please. Well, I mean, it was your idea. So. Um. Wow, cool. If I go under there, are you going to crush me with it? Uh, I know that Kurt and you were close. The gray eye calculations. Oh, I'm not seeing it. Short story. Yeah, any calculations? Yeah, I, I don't see it. Okay, well. At least free this little guy. What's that? Back in the toilet says jammed. Um, it's probably in the toilet then, ain't it? And why would she want to destroy her diary? Well, I mean, you know, I would want to destroy mine. Unidentified novel. Various foods. Candles. Got here. Oh, Claire de Lune. Hmm. Mozart. Indeed. Hey, buddy. Depressed. Well, I bet you've been stuck in here forever. There's cameras in the bathroom. I think that there's bugs crawling on everything because of all the debris in the air. Um. Oh no, what's going on now? What? What? What the? F oh! Oh! Um, I should probably not be here. Um, um... Ah! I can't type anything. I'm screwed, I think. place at the wrong time and achieving a locked. Oh no. Okay, stop me from spinning, please. Oh my god. Please. Okay. Oh god. Okay. That sucked. Uh, I don't know where I'm going before I do something. Oh, it looks like this is the window that broke. Do I have a light? And that terminal is done. So Okay. Yep. Get Can I get come on. What the hell? Is there anywhere to go? Can I get up anywhere now? Doesn't look like it. No, nope. okay. I'm gonna need to find another way into the station. Ok, 
Okay, then what's this waypoint here? we have been introduced. I'm Lemon Party. I suppose that Lemon Party is dead, but if you are feeling lucky... Uh, I was blown out of the ship after it was damaged. Uh, yeah, you're... Yeah, you're Kaizen85. Yes. Kaizen. 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 I mean, that's what I said. Let me in, please. Oh, I see. Um, ITS. All right, thank you. That was uncomfortable. That was an uncomfortable interaction with an AI. I didn't care for that. But it's better than being out here floating in space until I eventually die. D10. Close D10, please. an adventure. <sighs> well. Now what do I do? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna call it there. This was a this was a great uh, I'm having a lot of I love games like this. I'm having a lot of fun. Now we're gonna see you in a part two here. Um not too, not too far. I don't know how long it's going to be before I can do another part two, but it'll be, it'll be soon because I'm intrigued and this is a lot of fun. Really, really novel, and I love games like this, like Portal, Turing Test. Uh, there's so many great games that are that are kind of like this that I, I just I love. So, see you when we get there.